Hello everyone, and welcome to Armored Core 6 Ranked PvP. We are on the road to C rank. Let's go over our build. We are running Impact Mark II as our AC. Uh, this AC has some notable improvements from its previous iteration, namely in its primary weapon, the Needle Gun Viento. This uh, uh, gun is incredible. Quickly builds the opponent's stagger, which is what we want with this. We pair that with the Explosive Thrower, as well as the Javelin Beta Detonating Missile Launcher. Previously, this used to be on the other shoulder, but we switched it so that the arc of this missile launcher pairs really well with the Explosive Thrower on our arm. We then use the Active Homing Missile Launcher P05 ACT02 for uh, great damage and uh, consistent uh, firepower. Our AC parts include the Veril Head, the Alba Core, the Alba Arms, the other notable uh, improvement from the previous build. Uh, this has really great target tracking and firearm specialization, which is what we need for the Viento Needle Gun. We use the Wrecker Legs, one of the best bipedals in the game. Just great defensive stats and um, a general uh, energy use and everything involved with that. We use the P06 Speed Booster, the P10 SLT FCS for its max out missile lock correction stats, the Hokoshi Generator, and finally the Pulse Armor Expansion. All right, I hope you all enjoy watching today's ranked PvP. If you have any more build suggestions, uh, please leave a comment in the video or even leave a comment about uh, what builds you're running. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. I will see you very soon. Oh, it feels so good to play on new maps too. This just added a nice refresh state to uh, Armored Core PvP. What are we up against here? Ooh, okay. This is a sick looking AC. We got a Majestic and Moonlight, possibly um, the Coral variant of that too. Our strategy though is to kind of kite, get in relatively close, and use our Explosive Thrower, Needle Gun, and Missiles to quickly overwhelm our opponent. There we go, we got that, that's really good. Pop our shield here. Good. That helps present some, prevent some of the damage. Oh, oh no, that's bad. There we go. We bought. We fought. We were able to fight through the terminal armor there. That's. Whew, that would felt good. All right. Yeah, the damage from this AC can be pretty sneaky. And I love the Javelin Beta, one of my favorite shoulder mounts in the game. And the quick uh, buildup with our Explosive Thrower is incredible. I love it. Compared with the Needle, I think this is just a winning combo. There we go. Wow! Look at all that damage. Incredible. We'll just launch a Javelin... Sneaky Javelin Beta. Oh no. Let's launch our shield. Come on, Terminal. <laughs> our missiles are do trying to do a bunch of work. He's just running away. Oh my god, this is hilarious. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Good fight, my dude. Uh, I appreciate the strategies. Alright. You know, I've been playing with the Viento on this build, and I, I included it because it's a really great weapon and a suggestion from a viewer, but I'm actually not sure if it's correct still. Ooh, we are up against a missile build, and they are going to be flying around a lot. Uh, luckily... We have some counter with our own missiles here, so hopefully we can still output enough damage. And we might be able to miss a lot of the chip damage from all of this. Mm. 
this will be tough. Yep, very tough. Ooh, and every time we want to stop for using our explosive flower, it just turns out really bad for us. So we have to figure out a new strategy, I think. This just might be a really hard matchup for us, which is okay, that happens. Yep. Hey, it's ranked. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, let's save our generator to assault boost in. Let's regenerate that. Good. Go in. This is pretty good. Let's regenerate that. There we go, that worked out. Let's launch our shield as well, there we go. Reset our generator, there we go. This assault is actually working out in our favor. That's good. Oh, they hit us, that's bad. Oh, we got each other at the same time. Did I lose that though? I did. Oh, that was so close. Oh, I'm glad I figured out the strategy, but. Ooh, now we can lose points here. Okay, it is for real. Ooh, now we're on a new map but it is one that gives me some frame rate issues. Let's see what we're up against. Ooh, another missile build? Okay. <laughs> um, I think I'm picking up a pattern here. <laughs> well, let's make it over here. This is where I tend to get better frame rates. All right, we'll lock on, get our missiles going. There we go. Our explosive thrower missed there. That's crazy. There we go. We got that. We're able to get some extra damage in there. That's good. Missed. But we have a high stagger already, which is really great. Ooh, did we miss the short one? We did. But luckily, we have good maneuverability here. I'm just going to pop my shield, too, because our stagger is really high. And that helps reset it. There we go. Woo! If they play within our range, our firepower is just incredible. Um, <clears throat> but the explosive thrower is pretty weak against units that float around in the air. We kind of need that ground engagement. Um, but we'll keep on trying. Ooh, nice. Using the bridge for cover. That's pretty smart. There we go, we got hit there. That's really good. Ooh, popping our shield. There we go. Yeah, that was really good by him. Our damage is still really good.
Oh no. Oh, we got him. Oh, we missed that, but that's okay. There we go. Our explosive thrower paid off in the end there. GG, my dude. <laughs> Ooh, we are up against a really lightweight laser build. Interesting. Okay. I'm not sure what to expect from this. Hopefully our firepower and defensive capabilities can win us this, but I don't know. Alright, there they are. What we want to do is just get our lock on as quickly as possible so we can get our missiles going here. And then try to overwhelm them as much as we can with our explosive fire. But they are fast. Oh no. They were up in the air, we couldn't do anything about that. There we go. Oh, we got terminal popping our shield. There we go. We had to back off a little bit, but they're going to try to overwhelm us there. Oh, explosion didn't work there. Oh, no, we missed there. There we go. <laughs> okay. I was freaking out at the end there. <laughs> Surprisingly really good firepower from them. I, I did not expect that from just like two weapons, but good to know. I'm trying to use some cover here. Interesting. We're able to dodge that. Okay, that's pretty good. So they just want to sit around and charge things. And he's backing off, okay. Oh, bummer. This damage output is bad right now. Oh boy. Yeah, I think we're losing this one. Yeah, he's just dodging our explosive throw right now. Yeah, okay. I didn't even want to waste a the shield there because I, I, I guess I could have survived a little bit longer, but his movement was just uh, too fast for my explosive thrower. All right, interesting. I got to figure out a smarter engagement then. That was good. Got that right away. That's good. What? How did that hit? Resetting. There we go. Oh, good fight, my dude. GG, really interesting build. All right, y'all, we've had a lot of fun matches, but this build might not be it right now. If the whole point of this is try to reach C rank, and I'm kind of middling out, it just might not be right. Ooh, interesting build here. Double Dudlo and then the Coral Missile Launchers. Interesting. Coral Missile Launchers can be incredibly deadly, so... Gotta be careful of those. Yeah, he's charging them up right now.
Popping shield. There we go. Oof. Yeah, those things can hurt so bad. Yep, okay, GG. I guess missiles are back. Let's try this again. You know what, gotta play a little faster here. Gotta play really aggressive with this kill. There we go. That's good. Popping our shield. There we go. Our explosions got him. That's good. All right. That's the strategy with this. Um, I just gotta play a little bit more aggressive here. I can't let them um, build up. Reset in here a little bit. There we go, got that. And one of our missiles hit, that's really good. That's not good. Let's see if we can back off, use our cover here. Oh, one of our missiles landed. <laughs> oh my god, 6 AP. Woo! Good fight, my dude. GG. Ooh. Okay. Interesting build here. Dual laser cannons and the auroras. Let's see how we match up against that. I don't think our laser defense is great. But we'll give it a shot. Ooh, he can move around, and he's already done a lot of damage to me. What? How has he done that much damage already? I am shocked at that damage. How come I can't see it happening? What? Was I just, like, eating every shot? Alright, we just got to assault boost in and... Try to catch him off guard here. There we go. That's good damage right there. Let's pop our shield here. Get that going. There we go. That was pretty good damage too. They popped their shield. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I think their damage output is just too great for us. Unfortunately. Oh! GG, my dude. 
All right, y'all. Explosive thrower might not be it. All right, y'all. I have made some... Oh, my God. Look at this thing. <laughs> well, it's explosive thrower versus explosive thrower, which should be really interesting. I did make some modifications. I switched back to the stun gun. Um, I think the Viento was great, but just not achieving what I needed. So, let's see how this goes. I think introducing another damage type, though, can help out a lot. So that's what we're going to go, go with. Holy shit! I got that one, that's good. But our AP is so low now. Oh my god! What the fuck? This thing is incredible. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Got some of that. At least. <clears throat> this is a patient player, though. My God, that is incredible amounts of damage. All right, GG, my dude. <laughs> I have made some modifications to the build. I have removed Vien the Viento and have switched back to the stun gun. Um, I feel like there was just some like timing issues with using the Viento and explosive thrower. Um, I think the stun gun adds a third damage type as well. Um, and so it feels like a good switch up here. We'll see how it goes on what is possibly the worst map in PvP. That was good. All right, we're getting there. There we go, that was really good. The amount of, I, I, I think the stun gun is actually way more viable than the Viento so far. There we go. GG. Man, the frame rate issue on this map is incredible. I don't know what it is about this map. Probably the water for me, maybe? That's okay. Let's try hanging up out here, though. I notice a better frame. Frames when I'm up here. There we go. Good, 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 good. Oh, I launched missiles right into the wall there. Alright, we'll need to launch our sh shield here. Yep, there we go. Oh, they got terminal armor? There we go! That feels so much better. GG, my dude. All right, I have switched back to Pulse Armor. I don't know what happened there, but I'm really glad to switch back to the Stun Gun as well. That seems to be really effective with this build. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. I'm actually not sure what to expect from this. So, dual linear rifle and a stun needle launcher. Interesting. Let's do this. They want to be over here too, which is great. Ooh. We were able to dodge out of the way of that. That's really good. But then they just want to fly away? Interesting. 
There we go. We're popping our shields here. There we go. There we go. I think our missiles caught him off guard there. That's what's so deceptive about this build is I can continue to move around and kite, and then our missiles will just eventually hit them. They lose track of it. It's a sneaky build, and I love it. All right, we got him with our explosive thrower there. That's really good. Oh, we got... Oh, okay. We got that there. That's good. Oh, we were low on our ammo there. Okay. I'm popping our shield again. These pillars are actually kind of getting in our way a lot. There we go, we got him there. Let's see if we can build that up. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Our missiles are just devastating. GG, my dude. Ooh, okay. Very heavy build. This looks cool. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of people using the shoulder Gatlings. Maybe that, there's uh, something to that. But as it stands, I think our road to C rank here is coming to a halt. Um, I think Impact Mark II is just not it right now with the meta. Um, so we'll see how this match goes. Uh, this might be the last one for this series. There we go, good damage there. Launching my shield here. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's really good. Terminal again? Okay. There we go. Oh. <sighs> All right. Well, it's effective against this build, at least. That feels good. <laughs> All right. Oh, he was just charging in. Okay. Well, we got the stagger there. That's really good. Launching that shield was probably a bad idea, but I did it. Being able to stop the uh, Laser Lance charge because of the stagger buildup is actually pretty great on our end. Effective. Uh oh, not good. There we go. <laughs> that was a close fight, my dude. GG. And with that, we will close out our session to uh, Road to Sea Rank. I hope you all enjoyed watching today's video. Uh, I have the uh, assembly parts up on the screen again to showcase what we played with today. Um, I think the meta just proved too difficult with this particular build, even though it's a lot of fun to pilot. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like the video. Mm. Let's do that again. And with that, I think we will put a close to our Road to C rank for today. Uh, Impact Mark II is a very fun AC to pilot, but seemed to struggle in this meta. Um, I have the parts listed on the screen again in case you wanted to give this build a shot yourself or have any build recommendations. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future, and I will see you in the next one.